Tuma News presents Mosquitoes and the Zika Virus. CDC unveils plan to fight Zika. Health officials are bracing for outbreaks of the Zika virus in the continental United States, as warmer weather signals the start of the mosquito season. Infection with the virus in pregnant women causes the birth defect microcephaly and other severe brain abnormalities in babies. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is planning to send rapid response teams to any community where the Zika virus is transmitted locally. The CDC will monitor Zika cases by determining the travel and sexual history of patients and whether they are pregnant. Capacity will be increased for laboratory testing, with testing times reduced to help work out how widespread Zika is in any area. Vector controls of mosquitoes will also be increased, depending on the severity of the outbreak. Meanwhile, response teams will communicate with the public and advise of any areas that pregnant women should avoid. Blood donations will be monitored in Zika-affected areas, and supplies for transfusions will be brought in from non-affected regions. Southern states that are home to the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is the primary vector for Zika, have the highest risk of an outbreak. However, officials do not expect an explosion of cases in the mainland U.S. due to a higher prevalence of air conditioning and window screens, and a population that is more widely spread out than the densely populated areas of South America, where Zika has taken hold. Mosquitoes use six needles to suck blood. An outbreak of Zika virus is giving scientists added impetus to understand how mosquitoes are so effective at biting us and passing on disease. As of last month, 48 countries and territories had reported active Zika outbreaks. Infection with the virus in pregnant women causes the birth defect microcephaly and other severe brain abnormalities in babies. Scientists hope research into how mosquitoes bite us will lead to new repellents that can arrest the spread of viruses like Zika. Researchers say the mouth of a mosquito has a sheath that protects six needle-like mouth parts, known as stylets. When a mosquito bites, the sheath moves backwards, and two stylets lined with tiny sharp teeth saw through the skin. As these maxillae cut through the skin, two mandibles thrust into the tissue and hold it apart. Another needle drips mosquito saliva into the skin to keep blood flowing causing an itchy welt to form and spreading diseases like Zika. Receptors in a sixth needle help guide it to a blood vessel. Blood is then sucked up through the stylet like a straw. As blood fills the mosquito's gut, it filters and excretes the water content to absorb nutritious red blood cells. Public health experts recommend using insect repellent, checking screens on doors and removing standing water around our homes to reduce the spread of mosquito-borne viruses. How self-destructing mosquitoes could stop the Zika virus spread. What if you could turn a species against itself as a way to combat the spread of a disease? A British company, Oxitec, may have a way to fight Zika virus. They create genetically modified mosquitoes that produce offspring that will not survive into adulthood. The company uses a tetracycline repressible activator variant, or TTAV, which ties up the transcriptional machinery of cells, causing them to die. Created in a lab, Oxitec mosquitoes are given a tetracycline antidote, which allows for normal cell expression. These lab mosquitoes will survive into adulthood, whereupon the males will be released into the wild. The offspring of the lab mosquitoes will not possess the antidote and will therefore die before reaching adulthood, reducing the mosquito population and the spread of Zika virus. The modified mosquitoes are non-toxic to predators that eat them. They also contain hereditary fluorescent markers, which help researchers distinguish them from wild mosquitoes. Millions of bacteria-infected mosquitoes to be released in Fresno. The life sciences arm of Google's parent company Alphabet plans to release 20 million bacteria-infected mosquitoes in Fresno, California, in hopes this will wipe out the mosquito population that could potentially be carrying the Zika virus. The company uses larval-rearing robots to raise Aedes aegypti mosquitoes with the naturally occurring Wolbachia bacteria. The mosquitoes are then separated into females and males to ensure only the males are released. When the infected males mate with female mosquitoes, any eggs produced will not be able to hatch, thus eliminating the wild Aedes aegypti mosquito population. 
about 1 million infected male mosquitoes will be released in Fresno over a 20-week period. The mosquitoes will be released by specially designed vans in two 300-acre neighborhoods. Other technology companies in the U.S., including Microsoft, are also developing automated and robotic ways to improve the way we can combat mosquitoes. Bat houses being built in Miami Beach to combat Zika virus. Infected mosquitoes of Florida beware, this Halloween they may be in for their own deadly scare. Decision makers in Miami Beach have approved the installation of bat houses to offer our flying friends more reasons to hang out in areas where mosquitoes gather. To combat the spread of Zika virus, small bat houses will be installed in city parks to attract bats looking for a place to roost. Bats prefer warm, narrow spaces that offer shelter from predators and the elements. A good bat house will be built tight to mimic their natural habitats. Bat houses should be positioned for maximum sun exposure placed 15 to 20 feet in the air to allow the bats enough room to swoop down and fly away. Mother bats are most attracted to bat houses close to a water source, so they won't have to travel too far from their young. The bat houses are being implemented because bats are expert mosquito killers, with the ability to consume as many as 1,000 in under an hour. The move is also a nod to environmentalists upset over nearby Miami-Dade County being sprayed with NALED an insecticide used to eradicate the mosquitoes. Bacteria-infected mosquitoes used in fight against Zika. Health experts plan to release mosquitoes infected with bacteria in parts of South America next year in an effort to stop Zika transmission. Wolbachia is a natural bacterium found in up to 60% of insects. However, it is not usually found in the Aedes aegypti mosquito the main culprit for transmitting the Zika virus. To infect the mosquitoes with the bacteria, scientists had to inject it into mosquito embryos. They succeeded after numerous failed attempts. The bacteria is spread from female mosquitoes to their offspring, even if the female mates with an uninfected male. However, if an infected male mosquito mates with an uninfected female mosquito, their eggs won't hatch. The bacteria can stop viruses such as Zika from growing inside the mosquito, thus stopping them from being transmitted to humans. The Eliminate Dengue program, which developed the Wolbachia method, will be handling the deployment in South America. The group will continue to study the impact of Wolbachia mosquitoes on transmission of Zika, dengue, and chichingunya in large urban settings. Florida uses mosquitoes to combat Zika. Florida released thousands of Zika-fighting mosquitoes at a test site near Key West on Tuesday, hoping to stop Zika and other mosquito-borne viruses. 20,000 male mosquitoes infected with the Wolbachia bacteria were released in Stock Island, about 130 miles southwest of Miami. Scientists injected the naturally occurring Wolbachia bacteria into the male mosquito embryos in order to infect them. The bacteria can stop viruses such as Zika from growing inside mosquitoes and is not harmful to humans. Once infected, female mosquitoes spread the bacteria to their offspring, even if the female mates with an uninfected male. However, when an infected male mates with an uninfected female, the female's eggs will not hatch. Large-scale release of Wolbachia-infected mosquitoes has previously been trialed in South America. Although there hasn't been an official report on the impact of the method, it is recommended by the World Health Organization. Vietnam has released mosquitoes intentionally infected with the Wolbachia bacteria in an effort to stop the spread of dengue fever. The mosquito that most commonly spreads the dengue virus is the Aedes aegypti mosquito. People infected by the dengue virus may suffer symptoms of fever, sweating, and rashes. Serious cases may even result in death. Mosquitoes that have been implanted with the Wolbachia bacteria are rendered incapable of carrying the dengue virus. Their lifespans are also cut short. Such mosquitoes that were introduced to communities in Australia have overtaken native populations and remained 95% dominant. Researchers plan to test the Wolbachia mosquitoes' ability to thrive on an island off Vietnam's central coast this year, with another release expected to take place next year in Indonesia. Mega mosquitoes, known as gallinippers, have been spotted in Seminola County, Florida, after heavy rains. Gallinippers are 20 times larger than an ordinary mosquito. Gallinipper larvae play on other mosquito species larvae and even tadpoles. 
Due to its location, Seminole County is often flooded after heavy rainstorms, providing a perfect environment for gallinippers to grow. Authorities began pre-spraying in swamp areas several months ago. Residents are being advised to wear bug spray containing DEET and to cover up as best as possible. Gallinippers are not known to carry any harmful viruses. Thank <laughs> you.